today I want to bring you a video on what's in my grab and go little travel snack bag. Um, and we've talked about this before. I showed you guys my grab and go toiletry bag and I'm going to show you guys my makeup bag and stuff like that. But grab and go is basically, you know, if someone calls you and if you need to go somewhere, you can be ready like that. If you need to jump on a plane, you can be ready. You have your shampoos, conditioners, it's all lined out so you don't have to spend as much time packing. Um, and that really helps me in my life because I'm sure some of you guys have like had sleepovers or have had people call and say, hey, we're going away for the weekend, come with us. And you don't have time to pack. And for me, a lot of the time, it's media saying, we want you here in five hours, get on a plane. Um, so this is just kind of, this, this, this is just kind of the food portion. I sound like Dracula. That's a really bad Dracula impersonation, so sorry, Dracula, if you're out there. Um, this is just the food portion because I've noticed that on airplanes they do serve food, but not all the times it's the healthiest and not all the times it's the tastiest either. And there are restaurants and airports, but sometimes you don't want to spend the money and sometimes you want the healthier options. So these are things that I bring with me that I basically, I have them ready to go. And if somebody calls me and if I need to go, I just take it with me. So they meet the airline regulations so I can bring them on the plane. Um, and they're healthy and nutritious, and they last a long time, so it's not like cheese or something that's going to spoil really quickly. Although, like, those mini cheese sticks and apples are also really good to take on for So, first thing is dried fruit. Dried fruit is personally amazing. It is a little bit sugary, but at least it doesn't have added sugar. Um, these are personally from Safeway. There's freeze-dried pineapple and freeze-dried harvest blend. We also have them at Trader Joe's, but you can even go into the airport and, you know, Buy yourself some yogurt or buy yourself some like, I don't know, cereal and milk if that's what you like and pour these on top. I just like them out of the bag, but eating them on like um, Feige, Feige yogurt or whatever is good. They're healthy, they're nutritious, mix them with something and they are filling and they're just good little snacks that they let you take on the plane. Now next, I know this looks super scary, trust me it's not. These are those little like dressing containers that I filled with green powder and I know this looks super scary but you mix this with water. Um, what is in here is this because obviously this is too big for you to take on a plane. So if you put them in these little packets, you're allowed to. But this is the Super Green Food Berry Drink Powder. And I love this kind of stuff. You just mix it with water. It's not a meal replacement, but it's like a snack. It gives you vitamins. It's like, it's a health drink and it keeps you, you know, it helps keep you full, but it keeps you healthy, you know, most importantly, and it keeps your minerals in check. Now, be careful when it comes to mixes and drinks like this, because if you actually look at the ingredients, most of them are sugar to make them taste good, just sweetener, and it's just, it's not even healthy for you. It's like, why don't you just go eat ice cream? Ice cream will be more nutritional than your protein drink. It's just, it's, it's miserable. Just like the Kashi Go Lean stuff, that stuff is like death in a bottle for your body. This is actually a good one. Um, this is the acai and goji berry. Um, it's by Amazing Grass. I trust this one. If you look at the ingredients and the nutrition facts, it is pretty healthy. Um, the all natural ingredients are wheatgrass, green food blend, which is organic wheatgrass, barley, alfalfa, um, spinach, uh, corella, sorry I didn't say that right, uh, broccoli, um, it's got acai, beets, hips, rose hips, green tea, all sorts of stuff. You got fiber blend. It's got all these things in there and there's not like added sugar, but it still tastes sweet. It doesn't taste like vegetable. It tastes more like fruit and it has a little bit of sugar in there. Oh no, it doesn't. It has zero grams of sugar. It has four grams of carbohydrates just because a lot of this is fiber and vegetables. Um, doesn't taste bad and it's not loaded with sugar. So I love this. Um, next are my little Kashi like sweet treats. These are not the healthiest for you. They are granola bars. You know, how healthy can a granola bar be? Um, but they still are tasty. So these normally come in a pack of six. I just took them out. This is the honey almond flax, and this is the cherry dark chocolate. These two just taste the best to me. Now, they're really not that healthy. They do have some oats in there, but they have brown rice syrup or um, organic cane sweetener, which is basically sugar. So these are not that healthy. But they are inexpensive, and they are tasty. So those are two things that I have um, and that I just kind of take with me. Also, a little pack of almonds. This is just delicious. These are roasted and unsalted because unsalted is just tastier in my opinion. I got mine from Trader Joe's. You can get them from wherever. Just put them in a little Ziploc baggie. Um, nuts are full of protein, full of fiber, and full of fat. So these will keep you satisfied forever. There's not sugar, so it's not going to cause you to get like all dizzy and high and low on the plane if you have a long flight. 
that's the other thing. Obviously, if you're on a flight that's like one or two hours, you're not going to really need this. But most of my flights are either from San Francisco to Miami, San Francisco to New York, or San Francisco to Europe. And those are six to, what, six to 11 hour flights. Um, and a lot of times they only have certain meals at certain times. So obviously, if you're just going like hopping over for an hour, you don't need this. But just putting that out there, um, that this is probably for more... Um, you know, longer travel trips, and maybe you guys are going somewhere over Christmas vacation or winter break, that would, you know, maybe you should bring this if you're seeing your family that lives far away. Um, so next, these are some drink mixes. This is a Ocean Spray Crayon Lemonade. These really are not the best for you. They're like full of sugar, but they do taste good, and they um, dress up boring water. Now these are healthy, and usually they have hot water on planes, so you can just bring your own tea bags, and then you can put, um, Make tea on the plane, put them in the hot water. So this one is vanilla cha tea from Good Earth. Good Earth is amazing. I usually have a regular Good Earth in here, but I don't. But then I also have a traditional medicine, organic peppermint. I'm sorry, I'm hiccuping today. Um, this is absolutely delicious. It's magical, fantastical, and they're just wonderful. Um, next is a fiber bar. You guys know how much I love my fiber bars from Trader Joe's. Basically full of fiber, hardly any sugar, um, just veggies in a bar. And the very last thing is my sinfully delicious, uh, sinfully delicious, I can't talk, sinfully delicious almond chocolate peanut butter thing. Um, and this is all natural, it's almond butter, so it's made of almonds and not peanuts, um, and it has chocolate in it. So they're like trying to pull a Nutella, this is not as good as Nutella, but you can't take a can of Nutella on the plane, and Nutella isn't that healthy. This is healthier than Nutella. Um, here are the ingredients and the nutrition facts, they are actually pretty um, pretty good for you. I mean, obviously the chocolate, there's a bunch of sugar in there. It's not that great, um, but it's better than most other things. But um, you could also bring crackers, but usually they have crackers on the plane. So I just ask for some crackers and you squeeze this out and you eat it and it's delicious. So that is what I take. Oh, and always stay hydrated on the plane. You're not allowed to take water, so I don't have any water here. Um, but that is what I usually take with me on my flights and what I'm eating on the plane. Um, other than like the little things that they give you like the raviolis or the salads or whatever you guys want So yeah, that is what's up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, If you are like me and if you have little grab-and-go bags of stuff Tell me what's in your grab-and-go food bag or what you take with you when you travel um, I like video responses because I can watch you guys and comment But even if you just leave a comment, you know, that'd be great too because I still get to learn so um, I love you so much I hope that you enjoyed learning about this green powder in a box mysterious green powder um and i love you guys and i can't wait to talk to you all soon <sighs> love you guys bye